Hello, thank you for stopping into my channel. If you are new, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to like this video. If you are not new, thank you for stopping back by again to check me out. As you can see from the title of this video, today is a DIY project. So you will get to see how I turn my table from this to this, I abs absolutely love, love, love my new table. So let's jump right in. Let's get started with supplies. I had to record this because I thought it was so cool just to watch the guy use the wet saw in Lowe's. I know I geeked out just a little bit, but <laughs> here's some footage from him cutting the tile. Important disclaimer, before you get started with your project, lay all of your tile on your table to be sure all the pieces match. Here's my special guest, my dad, he helped me do this. So first he sanded the table down. This is my current kitchen table, of course, but he sanded it down just to give the table just the tad bit of grit so that it gives the um, tile something to hold on to. It makes the table just a little bit raw. So just sand this down, he literally it took him about five minutes, if that, to sand it down. So here he is cleaning it all off just to make sure that he has it sanded enough before moving on. All right, also don't forget to sand any other parts that you may want to paint later on. Go ahead and sand it down now. So after that, he saw a few more spots that he wanted to sand down just a tad bit more. So there he is getting it all sanded down and wiped away. Here we are mixing that fast setting patch here. He's using his handy dandy, I don't know, electric saw thing that helps mix this um, stuff together. So he used all that was in the bag and just mixed with plain water. So he just poured that in until it gave him the correct consistency of what he needed to complete the table. He still had a little bit left over, but as he was mixing, he would said he would like to have more than not enough once he got started. And once this was mixed completely, he literally took the entire bucket, put it on my table and dumped it on my table. But he got it all on the table and then he smoothed everything out. This part is very important to make sure you do not skip any pieces because you will need to make sure each piece, um, the entire table is covered so that your tables are able, your tiles are able to stick to your table. Now here we are laying the tile while we were at Lowe's and they were able to cut out other three inch pieces. We also got them to cut the bull nose, which is the part we're putting on right now. We got them to cut the corners into 45 degree angles for us so that we would be able to match them up correctly once we got home. So this stuff does dry pretty quickly, not within a matter of minutes or anything, but you definitely want to make sure that you're set and ready to go before you Spread this stuff on the on your table. You want to have everything laid out so that you're ready to go. So here, here are the bigger pieces that we're laying. So this this was the bigger pieces that um, that we bought from Lowe's that we got them to cut for us because it was cheaper for us to have them cut these into smaller pieces versus buying the smaller pieces that were already at the store. So we use the bull nose on the outer because that has your smooth edge. And then you use the other pieces around the inner side. Okay, so now that we have the bull nose on the outer pieces and we have our other three inch tiles already in the inner piece, now we are laying the glass tile in the middle. With my table, I wanted the majority of the table to be the decorative glass tile. Um, but of course you can set your table up however you desire. So we used um, six of the 12 by 12 glass tile sections here, but by all means, if you want a smaller section, feel free to only use four or three and use more of the solid ceramic tile around the rest of the table. So these, we were just trying to match them up so that like sides were not right next to each other. Also make sure things are as 
even and where they want to end up because as I did state, we got the fast setting uh, mix and this stuff does not allow you to have that much time to make changes if you needed to adjust your tile. So just be sure that everything is correct before you start pushing everything down and actually getting it set into place on your table. All right, an important piece of putting your table together as well is definitely looking to make sure you don't see any edges or any pieces of tile that are higher than the others. Also, as you see my dad, he you can run your hand along the tile and you will be able to feel if it's even with the tile that's next to it or if you need to push it down a little bit more or even if it needs to come up. So just make sure to do all of this before you push everything in to set your table. Run your hand along the entire table, all of the tile, to be sure that all of the pieces are lined up. Remember, this is going to be your table, so you do not want it to be uneven when plates and um, cups begin to come on your table and they tilt a little bit. So we want everything to be even here. until it touches on the it table, is. I hope. Now, pull everything up to touch the level, see? Make sure they touch, see this gap? Well, it's hard for me to hold the level yeah. in. Yeah, it's corner that, okay. And we're gonna move these up. Okay, remember when you push one corner, you gotta make sure all of them stay together. Okay, check the other corner in the back. Oh, you look like dog poop. Push. Well, always watch the it very. It is, Daddy. Okay, there you go. Now it's now it's touching. It was touching. Okay. Hard to instruct the children, you know. All right, good, good, good. All right, that's good. All right, but see what you do. See here. See what this one. Then you feel. You feel these. Here, you see like how this is sort. You see. Cool. It, then it's gotta go down to that side. Yeah, you gotta press the whole thing. When you when you do that, almost take your hand and, and it's like this. You just use your whole hand. Cause see right here, there's a this is hard. Press this, but it's it's going down. You just got. He's a perfectionist, guys. <laughs> All right, so after that, he used the level on every section of the table to be sure all of the tile was, was touching the level. So therefore, we know that everything is even and ready to go on the table. All right, we're just wiping off the excess setting things that um, the setting powder that got into the grooves or may have um, leaked on the outside. We're just cleaning all that up, giving it some time to dry as well. All right, here my, also, my dad also used some caulk so that because there was a small gap between the tile and the table. So he just used some regular caulk and caulked all four sides of the table so that that area would be cleaned up. And this is something we did not think of in the store, but thankfully he already has this on him. <laughs> So after the caulking is all complete and the table has been able to sit for about 
30 to 40 minutes, uh, we are now putting the, well, not we, my dad <laughs> is putting the unsanded grout within the grooves of the rest of the tile. Um, just make sure that if you are using glass tile, please, please, please get unsanded grout or the grout will scratch your tile. Um, our outer pieces are ceramic and the inner pieces are glass tile. Um, and we got this because the tile does have a mixture of um, grays, tans, greens, blue. It's a little iridescent as well. We went with a gray grout so that it would pretty match pretty seamlessly um, with both the ceramic tile and the glass tile. Sorry, you guys keep seeing my phone. I was FaceTiming my sister as we were doing this project. So now we're just, my dad is just wiping off the excess grout to see where else he needs to fill it in with more grout to make the table even and to fill in all the slots. And here he is filling in the pieces that we missed the first go around or just needed a little bit more to fill it all the way in, especially if you are dealing with um, more of the mosaic tile like I have where there are some smaller pieces, you wanna make sure that you get that grout in each one of those little pieces because you will be able to see it. Now everything's all dry. I used a fan on top of the table to help speed up the process just a bit. And here I am cleaning um, the table off from the last grout that was set here. I let the table dry for about an hour. You do wanna get it dry enough so that the grout sets, but you do not wanna get it so dry that you have an extremely hard time of wiping the grout off of your tile. Especially with these um, smaller pieces of the tile, you have to be very diligent in making sure that you are getting the grout off of every single little piece because it's easy, very easy to miss. So just make sure you're doing a very thorough job um, and having to go over it multiple times as I had to do just to make sure that you got all of the grout off of the, the small glass pieces. All right, now I just cleaned my table off with some cleaner just so that I could get all of the grout off before I spray the grout sealer on my table. All right, so just make sure you have it all clean and all dry as well. Here is the spray on grout sealer. This, um, my dad recommended I spray this on the table two or three times, and that is just to be sure that as things waste on the table that it does not soak into the grout and is actually just sitting on top so that you can wipe it away. So I sprayed this on, I let it sit for about two hours, and then I sprayed another coat on um, later that night and then wiped it off the next morning. And of course, we already had a spill and it wiped off just fine. And here is my final result. I absolutely love my new table. Um, I've been wanting to do this project for a while and I'm just so excited that it's finally done and it came out better than expected. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have just as much fun as I did transforming your old kitchen table into your new kitchen table without spinning as much as you would if you were buying a brand new set. Again, thanks you got. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.